In order to make this virtual potluck, what I did was I started with a Google slide. I went to my drive, chose create new slide, and then I started working from there. I was going to use a theme that I already had, but then instead I decided, you know what, I'm going to create my own theme. So I went to my master, which is under view and then master, and I went ahead and made some changes. The first thing I did was rename the template that I'm using or the theme that I'm using. I'm going to go up here to my first slide, which is called master, and I'm going to change the background. So you can actually grab pictures from all sorts of places, your camera, URL, you can even do a Google search. But where I have mine is on my computer. So I'm going to browse my computer, go ahead and choose my image and then hit open. And as you can see, it not only puts it on that top slide that I chose, but because it was the master, it put it on all of my images. Now, anything that I do to that top slide, that master is going to change it for all of the slides. So right now I'm choosing some fonts that I want and choosing the sizes, and it makes that change throughout all of them. But when I go to the layout, so you can see there's the master and then there's the layout, I can actually get real fussy with every single slide that I'm working with. So I can go ahead and change it so that it fits into the format a little bit better. I can change the size of the font or the type of font, but there are going to be some general rules according to that first master slide. You can go in here and you can even change the background of the individual slides in the layout. So I'm changing a background here, grabbing another image from my computer and making some changes beyond that. Now, some of these slides have, I didn't want any picture at all. I just wanted a plain background. So what I'm using is a Chrome extension called eyedropper. Eyedropper allows you to pick a color from your template or any place on the web actually. And then it gives you the number that you can input when you do a custom color. So now I'm going to background and to color and custom and I can change that number and it gives me the exact same color that matches the rest of my slides. If there's a slide that you don't want, you can actually click on the slide and hit delete. You can also take a slide and do a copy and then a paste. And this is really nice because you can add extra slides into your theme. So what I'm doing here is just making a couple of changes that I think will um, really lend itself to the idea of this potluck. So our virtual potluck is going to allow people to add recipes. And so what I'm doing is playing around with the, the template right now. So this portion right here that says click to edit master title style, that is going to be where someone can click and then make adjustments and change on the presentation. But where I have wrote the word title, that actually becomes almost a picture onto the background. It's something that people won't be able to edit later on. So I'm doing that with a couple of different words here. I'm writing ingredients and I'm writing um, directions and below I have this area that people can actually go in and edit. I'm using a lot of copy and paste here and moving it around. Those red lines that are appearing are allowing me to align um, the, the font, the words to each other. So that's really beneficial. Here I'm going ahead and I'm titling this new slide that I made. And you see that I titled it with the letter A to begin with. After you have your theme slides, the ones that are already there, you can add additional slides, but it really just plops them in wherever it wants to. So one way to fix that is by alphabet. So what I'm doing is titling the first one A and the second one B. And when we look at our options for our slides right up here, you're going to see, well, sure enough, down here we have an A and a B. We have all of our master slides and then A and a B. And so when someone goes ahead and chooses a template or a slide, they can go in and edit those boxes that I allowed for and make the changes that they want to make so that they can participate in this virtual potluck. <laughs>